some quick directions on how to turn in work and check your great comments using the Canvas app and the Canvas website. I am currently in the app for Canvas and you would select the assignment on the left hand side. So it tells you if it's submitted, if it's missing, so if you need to turn something in or resubmit it, maybe you turned in the wrong file or you have an update. So I'm selected on the textbook for example and I will hit resubmit assignment. I could turn on the camera, take a picture if I needed to, or I could go to my photo library and I could turn in a file, um, for example, like right there, and then submit. And then it tells me I've resubmitted. I get the nice confetti thrown up in the air. And now you can see that I've done this three times. I have unlimited attempts. Uh, if there is a limit, it would show it there. It tells you the submission types. Sometimes it tells you to submit a PDF file, for example, and it will not let you do anything other than that. And now, how do I see what I submitted? Well, right there in the middle, uh, since this has already been graded, it says 10 points out of 10 points, but right below that is a submission and rubric. And this is where you could see what you turned in, if you turned in the right thing. It also has the ability to slide that bar all the way up to the top. And this is where you would see my grade comments. You can see that the file is attached. If there is a grade rubric for an assignment, it will show how many points in each category, how many you earned, maybe even some comments in there. So make sure that you're able to navigate and understand how your assignments are graded. Now I'll quickly go over here to Canvas on the website, and I'm in a student view so that you can see it the way that you would see it. It's got your to-do list over there, the recent announcements up at the top. By the way, these announcements should be emailed to you when they are sent, so you can check your email regularly to see what's coming in. You might even be able to set up your account. If you click right underneath the top left where it's got the modern day logo, you can click account and you can click on notifications. And I believe you can modify your notifications so that when you have a grade comment, it will email you the comment. Uh, when there's an announcement, it can email that to you. Uh, so check, check out what you have available under notifications. And so I can click into the assignment, maybe go into the modules. I'll look at that same biology textbook, for example. And instead of having to click into things, the grade comments are right there on the right-hand side. Pretty cool. And doesn't show a rubric option. If it did, the rubric would be right there on the right-hand side. So you can resubmit from here too, or if this is the first time you're submitting work, you would uh, just hit that submit button. It is helpful for you to check that you submitted the correct file because it happens quite often where students inadvertently turn in a wrong file, like you turn in your English work at biology class. Teachers will do a good job of naming the assignment so that it makes sense instead of like chapter one or reading guide shouldn't be something generic like that so i wanted to give you a quick o overview on that and a lot of questions came up about um, great comments so when you see that you don't earn 10 out of 10 or 100 percent then you would look to see what the reason is so that you can improve on your work on the next time. So you'll always get a great comment. Hope that helps.